Okay, so this is my Raspberry Pi 4, 4 gig, running Ubuntu. Uh, I was asked to try Linux Mint, um, but uh, I couldn't get that to work. Uh, but the Linux Mint uh, OS uses the desktop environment of Cinnamon. Uh, and so I thought I'd have a look and see what Cinnamon was like. So if I click on here, uh, I used a guide on linuxconfig.org uh, of how to install it. So I'll put a link in the description for that because all you do is just follow the guide uh, and it will work. Now the hardware one seems to default to software rendering. So I'll click on software rendering, log in. My cat's just jumped to my bag. <laughs> Okay, so here we are on the desktop. Uh, you can see on the bottom right hand corner, uh, it shows, that will be my keyboard, I think. Yeah, it shows my keyboard uh, and battery full. Uh, we've got various things like volume control here, Wi-Fi, uh, I don't know what that one is. Anonymous on. Oh, that's because, so because I uh, connected my NAS drive, my NAS drive is now showing up here, so I can eject my NAS drive, uh, or, oh, or open it in File Manager. Let's give that a go and see what happens. Oh, there you go. Um, so I've, I've just, uh, before I hit go and network, and it found my network drive for, straight away, which is great. Uh, and so you can see if I go to uh, my folder in that, and I go to my demo stick, uh, and let's go to my 1080 folder first and see what see what it um, opens up in by default. I really like the the look of it. It looks like a really uh, really fancy OS, um, but actually it it seems to be running quite fast. I'm sure when I tried it before, it wasn't that quick. And uh, I haven't tried to do any updates or anything on this. Uh, right, what's it doing? Oh, okay. So it didn't like that. Uh, let's try, what else have I got? Uh, well, that one probably won't play. That might play. No, it doesn't like it. Right, so if I right click, what happens there? Open with, and it comes up with a few, parole media player. I don't know if that was it, what it was defaulting to before. So I oh, know that's certainly different. Oh, and that's playing. This is juddery. Um, I deliberately have this to show Judder on a TV. Um, so if I go back to the Paddington one now, and so open with, I wonder if it gives you an option. So parole worked. So if I do other application, but then I click on parole, does it? Yes, yeah, says default. Look. So this is all, I haven't used Cinnamon or Mint uh, before, um, but this is all very logical to me for someone who, uh, for most of my computing life, has used Windows, um, but also I use Mac as well. Uh, and a little bit of Linux um, over time, and obviously since I've had the Pi, I've used a lot more Linux. Yeah, that seems to be playing all right. Let's, although it doesn't seem to be particularly smooth. This bit also shows Judder, but yeah, not that much. Okay, so the desktop is definitely slowing this down because under Ubuntu, uh, this plays much much better than that. Um, so this is partly because it's uh, it's using the Cinnamon desktop, but it's not at all. Uh, optimized for this particular device. I've just followed a guide uh, and it's probably more designed for an x86 system, but I really do like the look of it. Uh, and all these drop down menus are, well, to someone who uses Windows uh, a lot, are incredibly easy to port over to. So I can see why people like Linux Mint uh, if they're used to Windows. Uh, close the next, yeah, all of this is just, just really nice the way it comes up. So what's that one? Oh, desktop mode, right. So if I click on the web browser, and the web browser was crashing before. Again, this isn't officially supported, but uh, it'd be great if it was because it does look really nice. It's just whether or not uh, the fact that it looks so nice uh, is going to impact performance even when it's optimized. So Hot UK Deals, what was that? Now TV, unlimited free, now TV, one month entertainment pass free. Okay, I'll have a look at that in a minute, but I won't, I won't do it for this video. Uh, and if I open up another, uh, right, so it's not scrolling very smoothly. Uh, I think you could probably see that. Uh, so let's do another page. Uh, yeah. So the, what you've got to be mindful of on the Pi 4, because it is a, a relatively low power device by today's standards, um, great for certain things that are optimized for it and i love it for emulation and all sorts of things but with desktop os's you need a lighter os to to run on it and uh, yeah you can see i'm scrolling and that would normally get me 
much quicker down and it's really quite jerky. So I'm not even gonna bother trying YouTube uh, because YouTube is, isn't is great at the best of times on, on the Pi 4. So uh, obviously over time that's gonna get better. So I've covered files uh, and all these things here like quit, shut down the computer, leave, log out the session, lock the screen, files, internet messenger, system settings. Let's have a look at that, see what happens. Yeah, it does look really nice, doesn't it? I'm impressed anyway. Power management, mouse and touchpad. What do we get on that? Yeah, it's a really, really nice environment. Uh, printers. Haven't tried printers. I'm going to try printers on Pi 4, but I'm going to wait till I get. I'm going to get probably an Epson Eco Tank uh, quite soon. So I'm going to wait because my other Epson is really, really old. Effects. Window effects. Yeah, all of this sort of stuff you would tend to toggle down. Oh, effects style. Look. What? Scale, fancy scale, blend, move up. Right, okay, I'm not going to bother messing about with those. But this is very configurable. Uh, and obviously the great thing about Linux, as I've found over, over uh, the time that I've been playing around with it, is there's so many different options. You know, you can really configure it in exactly the way you want. Um, so, what's that? System settings, install desklets. Wow, and this hasn't crashed actually. So, so before I was getting crashes. So it's nice to see that it's not crashing now. Uh, and I like the way that it switches between uh, the sort of sub menus on this. That's really nice. All applications. Yeah, again, this this scroll is slow though. So it's really kind of chugging through that. Uh, and then, and again, this is to be expected. Uh, I think that's probably all I need to do on Cinnamon because, uh, as I say, it was only just, it was for me, it was just intriguing to see what it looked like. But uh, I would love to see Linux Mint properly ported over. If anybody gets a link for that, I'd be happy to try it out. Um, or also the Cinnamon desktop just being more optimized for Ubuntu. Uh, but uh, anyway, I hope you found this interesting. Uh, it's not really going to help much. Uh, but thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.